by the end of this video you will understand how to find the domain of this function among different types of questions seen in the exam covering domain and range function to solve this problem let's consider some basic rules in one of the rules zero is not allowed at the denominator of a function but zero is allowed at the numerator with these rules in mind we are going to solve for the denominator and this solution must not be equal to zero next consider that x is common in all of them hence factorize x out next consider the quadratic function when you solve the quadratic function you are going to have this as the solution of this denominator however we can still simplify this further in the final solution x must not be equal to zero and x must not be equal to one and s must not be equal to two if this function must continue you can see whenever x is zero and we substitute zero here everything at the denominator becomes zero also whenever x is equal to one and we substitute for x equal to one we are going to get zero here and everything here will become zero likewise whenever x is equal to two we are going to substitute two here and this will become zero and zero multiplied by everything here will give us zero at the denominator and zero at the denominator we tend a function to infinity whether if it is negative or positive integer hence we we'll write a mathematical expression to stop this from happening this means whenever s is equal to zero or one or two this function will cease from existing hence our final answer is all real numbers is allowed except zero one and two this means every number is allowed both towards the negative infinity and positive infinity with the exception of zero one and two and this becomes our final answer you can check out other videos under precalculus you can locate and assess other videos by following the link on the screen i will see you in the next video.